City Council is poised to cut funding for police and make major investments elsewhere after pulling in all nighter to come up with a budget deal amid the COVID-19 pandemic. Natasha Brown joins us now with a look at the numbers. Hi, Natasha. Hi, Jessica. We can tell you that City Council moved one step closer to giving final approval to the city's budget today, and that means major cuts for some departments, major investments in others. Under unprecedented circumstances, virtual hearings and a marathon session that went well into the night Wednesday, Philadelphia City Council gave preliminary approval to a fiscal year 2021 budget. What was done today was seismic. Seismic. Council was tasked with tackling a $749 million budget deficit spawned by the ongoing COVID-19 pandemic. The preliminary budget deal cuts $33 million from the Philadelphia Police Department's budget and adds plans to implement police reform measures like more body cameras and implicit bias training for officers. I want to thank the thousands of people that rallied and sent emails and reached out to us on social media regarding uh, this budget. I think today's First step in getting the budget done reflects those calls for change. The drastic cuts come in the midst of ongoing demonstrations throughout the city demanding police reform and calls to defund the police. In this body, you have to work together. Council members held a first reading of the budget during its meeting on Thursday. Among many cuts to city services, the budget restores $1.3 million to arts and culture funding, invests $20 million in affordable housing, $25 million in reducing poverty. Mayor Jim Kinney had this to say about a final revised budget that will soon be heading his way. It pains me that this budget reduces some city services and eliminates hundreds of jobs. Still, we have prioritized core services, protected our most vulnerable residents, and maintained our financial flexibility to enable a quick rebuild. In short, I believe this budget will accomplish the goal I laid out on May 1st. Well, we did get a scathing response from the FOP today about the proposed cuts to the police department. In part, it reads, quote, this spending plan will devastate any efforts by the police department to engage and fund numerous community outreach programs. Our political leadership is tone deaf and blind to the realities of public safety in our city by implementing these drastic budget cuts. Again, City Council does plan to give final approval to this budget next Thursday. Reporting live, Natasha Brown, CBS 3 Eyewitness News. Natasha, thank you.